We're gathered outside the Darul Barakat Mosque on Tilton Road in Birmingham and uh, today we're here to extend into the Midlands uh, the launch of the bus campaign which has been running nationally in London and now it's been in the northeast as well and now we've extended this campaign to the Midlands area. Today in Birmingham is the first bus uh, that is, uh, I'm standing in front of and uh, this will be a running campaign of about uh, 100 buses or so. We also have uh, some supporting endorsement here from the uh, Dr. Ota Nyana. He is uh, from the Buddhist temple here in Birmingham and he's come here to show his support uh, to the Ahmadiyya movement and to their campaign. Uh, I am very happy because of the <clears throat> now on the, our bombing is a faith city and understanding each other Yes, forgiveness, life, peace. So I'm very happy for your campaign, especially the transport. It's helping for other people. Well, it's obviously been a campaign that's been very well received uh, in London and also in the Northeast. Um, and now it's about to be launched in the Midlands here. Uh, obviously, there's quite a few Jamaats here in the Midlands and uh, they've all respectively been in touch with the media uh, to run this campaign and hopefully it will present the values uh, that um, Ahmadi Muslims share with the British. Here uh, joined now by uh, Dr. Uh, Sayyid Farooq Ahmed Sahib, he is the um, uh, regional Amir uh, for the Midlands. It's a tremendous thing and this will help quite a lot especially for Non-Muslim, they will understand what it is yet is. Of course, they will cause problems, but that's why we are having this sort of exhibition, you know, by bus and campaign, by, by press and everything. And this will help us quite a lot, because the main problem in this country, extremist Muslims are causing a lot of problems. But our main theme is love for all haters for none. We don't bother what they do. But now I think message will be across throughout the UK, and there are many good English people who who, who know us, our, our, our Jamaat and what they are. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah from myself. I think this campaign has been very successful uh, in the sense that, well, we intend to promote peace in the society, loyalty and freedom. Being successful, because many people are talking to us, that is a wonderful thing that we have started, and they hope that it will continue. Assalamu alaikum, uh, Zafar Bhatti Sahib, I'm joined with uh, uh, today and uh, he's the um, main coordinator for the launch of this bus campaign here in the Midlands. Um, and uh, I just want to have a chat with uh, Zafar Sahib and get his views on how the launch has been progressing so far. Zafar Sahib, can you give me your thoughts? Assalamu alaikum. We've uh, got over 100 buses in the West Midlands area. And um, so far, by the grace of Allah, we've had um, quite a few press coverage in Coventry, Walsall, um, in um, some of the areas around Birmingham. We had the Birmingham Mail here today, and hopefully we'll have some press in the Leamington as well this week. And we've had uh, radio stations cover the event. We've had BBC West Midlands, uh, BBC Coventry and Warwickshire, uh, Beacon Radio, uh, Touch FM, uh, Radio XL, uh, who have also covered the event by the grace of Allah. And uh, so across the country, they've had a good response. We'll see what response they get from here. Um, they've had people who have actually seen it stop in front of their window. And uh, once they've seen it, then they've called in uh, to say what a good campaign it is. Thank you very much for that report, Zafar Saab. Thank you. Has there been, uh, uh, Brother Toby, has there been uh, any other media campaign besides? Um, um, what's already been done uh, on a regional level? Oh, yes, um, there's a media campaign which has been done and we contacted uh, three newspapers. Uh, one newspaper is Dudley Chronicle and um, uh, we contacted uh, House Owen newspaper and the Starbridge um, newspaper. I got very, very, very good response from the media, so much so that the next day I got a phone call personally myself and they said, where is this Ahmadiyya community? Where are you located? Where is your local area? Why is this, this message has not been given out for so long? And we are going to produce it next day. I was so, so impressed that the next day they produced the article in the, in the local newspaper. Yeah. So obviously the um, 
effect of the media has had a unprecedented um, benefits uh, to the local Jamaat and uh, let's hope that continues. So thank you very much for your uh, brief report and I uh, hope that the success continues and grows.